WBRC Fox 6 Law Call. And welcome back in tonight. So glad that you're staying up late with us. Before we go to our viewer email, you have a special shout out that you I like to do. <laughs> I met the most wonderful lady today. Uh, Lamford Johnson was her name. And uh, uh, Tammy and I were out shopping today and we met her and she said she watches Law Call every Sunday night. Awesome. And uh, I thanked her for that and we thank everyone uh, for watching this show. Yes. We wanted to say a special shout out to her That's and great. thank you to her. That's great. You know, look, it's 1030 at night on a Sunday. We get yes. it. So for folks to stay up late, uh, like Ms. Johnson, we want to let you know how much we appreciate it. So thank you all so much for, for tuning in with us. You know, tonight uh, our topic is personal injuries, and we're actually going to go to a viewer email. This one coming from Matt, who has a really, really good question for us tonight. He says, I was involved in a serious automobile collision while I was traveling for work. It happened six months ago, and I still haven't completely recovered from my injuries. The other driver's insurance company is slow, and it takes dozens of calls to find a person to talk to. Meanwhile, my bills are stacking up. What can I do? Well, Matt, Matt, Matt must be psychic. <laughs> Heard us talking about this and knew it was coming up. But we, we addressed this a yes. little bit earlier. Usually that medical insurance. And, and this is the exception. Oh. This is, Matt has the exception. Matt, such a great question. It's a complicated question okay. for this reason. Matt has two claims going on. He has a worker's comp claim because he was injured on the job. Didn't he say that he was working at the time? He did, yes. So if you're injured on the job, but n not as part of your job, like in an auto accident, huh. then you have a worker's comp claim okay. and you have a personal injury claim. Okay. So your worker's comp insurance should be paying your medical expenses under that circumstance. And they also should be paying you your worker's comp wages, which is around 66% of your normal wages while you're off work, Matt. So you need to go to your employer, HR folks, and say, hey, I was injured on the job. I've got a comp claim here. And then you will also have your personal injury claim, uh, just like any other personal injury claim. At the end of your personal injury claim, just like you would with your health care insurance, you will owe back your worker's comp carrier for both your medical bills and for the wages that you lost. But remember, those are part of your claim. Okay. You're getting them in that circumstance why you're injured and off work but they are part of your personal injury claim, so you do have to pay those back. And I asked you this earlier, but, and off camera, but let me ask you again. Um, talking to insurance companies, because that's a situation that a lot of folks yeah. are. Should I talk to the insurance company, the other person's insurance company, my insurance company? I want to get some answers, but you say if you've got an injury, don't, don't trust it, for lack of a better word. The best way that I've found to, to explain that mm -hmm. is this, Melanie. When you, when you have a claim of any kind, a homeowner's claim, a roof claim, a personal injury claim, a slip fall claim, you are in an adversarial position with the insurance company. Even if it's your own insurance company, you're in an adversarial position and you are dealing with someone who is a professional in claims. Okay. And most of the time my clients aren't professionals Absolutely. with claims yeah. or with insurance companies. So be very, very careful Assume everything that you're saying is being recorded. Okay. Uh, and uh, I strongly encourage folks, if you are injured in an accident and you are, tend to get a lawyer, you usually need to get a lawyer, and you intend to get a lawyer, mm -hmm. just don't have a conversation with them. Okay. Just tell them, look, I've got a lawyer. I'm going to supply them. Give me your name and number. I'll give that to my lawyer. Let your attorneys deal with That's the good. insurance companies. It's the safest thing. To That's do. good. That's good advice. It is. Well, thank you. You know, we appreciate everyone uh, writing in with those email questions. If you'd like yeah. more information, you can certainly go to deliveryjustice.com or you can go to wbrc.com and there you can click on the law call link.